Riverbed Hunt is a light strategy deduction board game for 4 to 9 players with a duration of 20 to 45 minutes depending on the number of players set in a fantasy world. What you're seeing is a print and play version so the Dixit components are guests so as the dice here on the trackboard and this is a 4 player setup. In this game we are all tritons, these fish-like water people living around the river of Ie. You take the secret role of a merchant, separatist or the profiteer. Merchants are trying to trade with the humans, so they are trying to reveal as many kelps as possible on the board. Separatists don't like this trade happening with the humans, so they try to block this by revealing as many logs as possible on the river board. And the profiteer kind of plays both sides, but he doesn't really care about the whole trade happening, so he's basically trying to collect as many coins as possible. During your turn, you have three available actions. You can either dive, with which you can view a face down river tile on the board. So, if I'm the red player, I can view any river tile within my reach. Within reach, we consider the tile my meeple is standing on and the two others connected to my position through water. However, I cannot view this one because there is land in between. So, I take the river tile, I view it and then I place it back face down. Then, I would exhaust my action and pass my turn to the next player. If I would choose to do swim, that means that I can move on the river board by one to two steps and then draw an ability card. So, in this case again, if I am the red player, I could move from this tile 1, 2 here, or I could move 1, 2, or I could either spend all my movement to move one step through land. Then I can draw an ability card which can be used either before or after any of my actions. This way I can make my actions stronger and make nice combos. So, if Swim was used, I exhaust this action and then I pass my turn to the next player. If I trust someone enough and I think that they are on my same team, I could give them Co-op. Co-op means that they are now allowed to reveal one of the river tiles on the board within their reach. So, if I Co-op the yellow player, they can reveal either the tile they are standing on or one of the two connected through river. However, they cannot reveal the one above because there is land in between. Then I would draw an ability card and refresh all of my exhausted actions. Once per game, I have the option of using the uncover action. So if I don't trust anyone, I, myself, could reveal one tile within my reach but instead of drawing an ability card, I now need to discard one from my hand. Then I need to exhaust this action and I cannot use Uncover again for the rest of the game. When a tile is revealed, we trigger the winning elements from top to bottom. The order is important to prevent ties. We go to the trackboard and count the two coins and then the kelp. In a four-player game, the merchants need six kelps the separatists need 3 logs and the profiteer needs 6 coins. Whoever reaches their goal first would win the game. In this case, the profiteer would win. But if we revealed this tile instead, the separatists would win before the profiteer. Also, once per game, I can exhaust my refresh token and refresh one of my exhausted actions but not the co-op uncover one. Some roles have special abilities. The merchant and separatist are just assisting their leaders. But the chief merchant is always playing with their role revealed. So it's our point of reference. The separatist leader has the hand special ability. So in this case, if the yellow player is the separatist leader and they kind of know where most of the remaining hidden logs are on the board, or even with the assistance of their fellow separatists, then when getting a co-op, they could discard an ability card, reveal their role and start the hand. The hand starts with the separatist leader revealing one tile within their reach 
and if that tile has the hunt icon then they can continue revealing tiles anywhere on the board as long as they have the hunt icon too. So they could reveal this one and since it has the hunt icon they can continue revealing more tiles. Whenever a tile is revealed through the hunt we instantly mirror that to the trackboard. If there is a winner during the hunt, the game ends immediately. The separatist leader can decide to stop revealing tiles whenever they want. If the separatist leader reveals a tile that doesn't have the hunt icon on it, then the hunt stops and the chief merchant is allowed to flip face down a revealed river tile. Again, the trackboard needs to reflect what's happening in the river board, so in this case we need to track back those elements. The Profiteer has a similar special ability. If they receive a co-op, they can decide to discard an ability card, reveal their role and do the con. For the con, if the Profiteer was the green player, they reveal a tile within their reach, in this case this one, and then any other on the river board. So, everyone takes a secret role, then an ability card, The player standing on the left of the chief merchant starts by placing their meeple anywhere on the board, then every other player does the same clockwise, and we are ready to play Riverbed Hunt.